Assalamu alaikum. My name is Kinda Khalaf. I'm the Associate Chair of Biomedical Engineering at Khalifa University in Abu Dhabi. It's my pleasure to talk to you about this fascinating engineering major today. So biomedical engineering is a highly multidisciplinary field that sits at the intersection of science, engineering, and medicine. It is formally defined as the application of science, engineering, and technology to um, healthcare, medicine and biology. In fact, biomedical engineering is the fastest growing engineering field in the world where uh, based, for example, on the statistics of the Bureau of Labor Statistics in the United States, it is expected to grow by 75% in the next decade in the US alone. It's also considered in the US as the number one job in engineering several um, years in a row due to its high starting salary as well as good job prospect. At Khalifa University, we aim to graduate leaders in biomedical engineering that span the wide multidisciplinary spectrum of the field from molecular genetics and genetic engineering to tissue engineering and regenerative medicine, drug design and delivery, biomechanics, biorobotics, signal processing, instrumentation, devices and wearables, as well as artificial intelligence. Our program is structured very similar to other programs spanning four years, where the first two years are, are the building blocks for the students, focusing on math, applied sciences, as well as engineering um, college requirements and humanities and then in the next two years we focus on the biomedical engineering major courses and we try to do that in terms of a breadth depth and delivery so let me tell you a little bit about that so the breadth ensures that within the next two years we uh, we try to have the students pick up some knowledge on each of those areas which i mentioned some of which such as for instance um, molecular uh, genetics uh, tissue engineering drug design biofluidics biomechanics signals processing and instrumentation ai etc but we also focus on depth and we do this by working with the students based on their passions and talents to um, focus more on one particular area and grow uh, more depth in it uh, based on the technical electives that they have to have with us as well as the senior design project. In terms of job prospects for uh, biomedical engineering uh, graduates, uh, of course, as I already mentioned, internationally, sky is the limit, it's unlimited. Um, here in, in this region and in the UAE, it's uh, diversified, where basically they can work in, uh, for example, government and regulatory uh, agencies, such as Saha, uh, Department of Health, Tawazon, Mubadala Healthcare, Abu Dhabi, Dubai Police, etc. Our graduates have also been able to, to find uh, jobs in some of the top hospitals, uh, clinics, and research environments here. That includes um, Cleveland Clinic, Abu Dhabi, Health Point, Mafraq Hospital, SKMC, etc. There's some opportunity in the medical industry. Uh, I'm talking about local opportunities. We've had students who worked at Siemens and uh, GE Healthcare, as well as Pharmacore. But we also encourage our students to take that challenge of the limited medical industry which is uh, definitely growing but to take it in the region as an opportunity for entrepreneurship starting their own companies and whatnot because at Khalifa University we also teach them the business skills and the business acumen and entrepreneurship skills to uh, to succeed in that I also want to mention that a good portion of our students continue to graduate school and medical school. Our curriculum is designed to allow the students to obtain all the pre-med requirements that are necessary for a typical four plus four medical degree, including the entrance exam, the MCAT, similar to, uh, to the medical school that we have at Khalifa University. Um, one of the strengths that we have at Khalifa University is uh, opening our research labs and our research projects to our students from day one, where they uh, come to our research labs and work with us and accompany us to uh, research that we do in the field, in various clinical settings, in the hospitals and research labs and whatnot. So I would also like to end by a quote 
from uh, my one of my favorite uh, biomedical engineers. He's actually considered as the father of biomedical engineering, Leonardo da Vinci, who was also a writer, a mathematician, an inventor, and lit did a little bit of painting uh, in his uh, spare time, who tells us that simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. But I also want to remind you that despite the claim that, that Leonardo da Vinci is the father of biomedical engineer, one of our ancestors, Ibn Sina, who came 500 to 600 years before that was one of the first uh, who dabbled with biomedical engineering in terms of drug design and delivery using herbs but also in terms of medical tools as, as you can see here with me behind me on on the screen the various surgical tools uh, and and the medical tools that he used for uh, diagnosis and treatment of uh, of uh, patients thank you very much our website is available for more questions and we are ready to answer any questions or inquiries from your end. Thank you.